Oh, good morning to you all. Good morning, Friday. Is it the 10th of July? 2020, certainly. And look at that. Overcast sky. I'm sort of pleased about that. It means I can mix some concrete and uh, get on with stuff. Well, I was sort of looking at the the lack of progress. Um, yeah, lack of progress, but life isn't all about progress. It's also about planting rose bushes. What was there was a walnut tree, which I didn't want there. Uh, it was a walnut that had been planted by the squirrels, and it needed digging up, and one of my neighbours said, oh, you want to do that a bit sharpish? He didn't say it like that. He, uh, of course, said it all in French. Because walnut trees have a great long, deep taproot. And if you leave them too long, you, you basically can't dig them up. You can cut them down. So I dug it out. Uh, yes, it did have a long taproot and stuck a rose bush in there. I'm going to have a good floral display I hope anyway and what else have we done we planted another rose bush there so we've got two rose bushes growing there uh, yeah that was that was good yeah the walnut tree someone's dog is shouting that there's people about I say someone, I think it's Alan's dog. Now, when I arrived here, there was a dead tree there. So I cut it up and it kept me warm last winter. But there we are, a walnut tree. I expect about 10 years before it um, has any walnuts on it, but you know, it can... Uh, it can do its own thing there. I did chuck a lot of water in with it, but that does look like it might want some more. I probably damaged the roots a bit digging it out, but it, it cost me nothing, so, you know, it takes its chance. Yeah. A couple of people said I shouldn't covet my neighbour's tomatoes. Didn't need to. Uh, Alan shouted at me and gave me three tomatoes without me asking. It's it's a funny thing, you know. I, I lived most of my life in towns. Town people don't do things like that. I, I say that some do, no doubt. But uh, yeah, here, if you're not careful, you end up being given more things than you know what to do with tomato plant I need to get another stick in and some string on some of those but it does look like I'm going to have tomatoes to eat doesn't it they're different varieties a uh, chap called Francois grew those he starts them off to sell and you know how it is you box up boxes of dozens interestingly uh, tens and dozens um, and you always end up with two left over and being the sort of chap he is he very generously gives them to friends and I count as <laughs> count as a deserving case I suppose yeah yep lots to do lots to do you might wonder why I've got onions in the flower bed that was because someone planted a row of onions in their garden and they had some sets left over and 
I didn't have anywhere particular to put them, so I just stuck them in there. Uh, yeah, they look promising. And Madam thought she'd come to see what I was up to resting in the Serengeti. Earlier on she decided she was going to lay down there and she was very attentive but I don't think there's too many mice hurtling about down there so she chased around and found me and demanded food out of a packet. It's a hard life being a cat isn't it? Well, when you've had a long and hard day watching for mice, you know, you deserve a little lay down, don't you? Do you? She likes being where she can see out the door. I notice she does that. When we go and feed the children, she always sort of puts herself where she can see whether anyone's approaching. Clever, aren't they? Yeah. I had a little walk round earlier. And I really thought I ought to just share these beautiful, beautiful roses with you. Amazing, aren't they? Now just imagine if you was clever enough to design something as beautiful as that. Look at the lovely colours. It's, it's, it is a joy you know, being able to come out in the evening and just enjoy the peace. Oh, that's something I wanted to. Um, things I've never grown before. I've never grown pumpkins. It's exciting, isn't it, growing things that you've never grown before. I do wonder what they're going to look like. I've got a feeling the soil here isn't really good enough and I've got a feeling that they're going to be pathetic small little ones, but, you know, time will tell. Should have brought me secateurs with me. Rose petals on the ground. That little flower wanted dead heading. Yeah. Pigeons are noisy chaps, aren't they? Yeah. Time for my last tea of the day, I think. And then bed. Saturday tomorrow, 
quick run to the shops. But things I don't need to buy. This is another dead tree. Uh, it was in a very bad way and it, it sort of suffers from being underneath these big trees. And I'm sure Alan said they're called Mirabelles. I ought to ask him again. Very sharp taste to them. <laughs> 